Hello and welcome to the video. My name is Aubrey and I'm the marketing coordinator here at Infotet Design Solutions. I'm going to be showing you Microsoft Teams Together Mode and how to use it in your next meeting. Let's get into it. For Microsoft Teams Together Mode, there are a few requirements. You will want to make sure that you're on the latest version of Teams and make sure that your new meeting experience is turned on. Not everyone will see this setting. You may already be defaulted into it. If not, then you'll go to your settings and under general, you'll see a box you can check called new meeting experience. This may require you to restart your computer. Also to activate the Microsoft Teams together mode, you must be the host of the meeting. Why would you want to use Microsoft Teams together mode for your next meeting? It'll bring your team together in a new and refreshing way. It'll increase productivity by eliminating background distractions. It'll help your team feel more connected, even if you're physically separated. And it will allow for new ideas to flow easily. The new Microsoft Teams Together mode will not be helpful for your next meeting if you have more than 49 attendees or less than five, you don't want high levels of interaction during your meeting, or you need to screen share or share a PowerPoint presentation during the meeting. Now you will be able to create a new meeting experience for your team using the Microsoft Teams Together Mode. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. And if there are any tutorials you wish to see, please comment them below. See you in the next video. All right, last one. We got this. We can do it.